Virgo, hi, welcome to my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person, the tarot reading. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, let's get into it. You, Virgo, wow, are starting off with higher power and imagine you are manifesting big time right now. Wow. There's a higher powers at play. I feel like you are envisioning, imagining, daydreaming, dreaming, <laughs> whatever it is, you're manifesting something here. Um, I feel like whatever it is, it's going to make you really happy, possibly some kind of new life, new, new relationship, new adventure, something like that. I'm seeing eggs everywhere, which usually symbolizes a new beginning. Um, some of you could be pregnancy, but I feel like in general, it is just a new, a new beginning, a new life. You feel great about this feeling hopeful, happy, your person, their overall energy, we have thinker. So I feel like somebody's thinking about you. Um, you got them in their, in their head and treasure Island, because I feel like they see your value, your worth. So it's almost like you're both, you're both actually aligning here and manifesting each other, which is great. Um, angel numbers, you guys, I am seeing four, 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 look up angel number four, four, four um for a message there for you but all right let's get into it current energies for this person for virgo what's going on current energies keep in mind virgo energies can be flip-flopped and reversed okay um it is a general reading all right virgo virgo the moon something happened with the, the moon cycle the full moon something there a decision Feel like your person made a decision recently. Victory and success. Wow. I feel like this person puts you on a pedestal. I feel like they see victory and success or give you a lot of attention. You might be giving them a lot of attention too, so it's like equal between the two of you. Ooh, Knight of Cups, Pisces energy, Knight in shining armor, sweeping in, swooping in to sweep you off your feet. Wow, Seven of Swords in reverse. This person, I feel like, is genuine. Yeah, I'm in shock. Wow. I feel like this person genuinely sees your value, sees your worth, wants victory and success with you. I don't think they're shady. I don't think there's anything shady. This could be a brand new connection, a brand new relationship. Somebody's a little guarded though. Somebody's a little bit guarded. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a water sign. Or they're just, they're very guarded with their emotions. Ooh, but who you are a wish come true to them. Uh, they're very attracted to you, Virgo. I feel like they love, like, spontaneous, adventurous, having fun, laughing. They have hope and faith, and you are a wish fulfillment. I just feel like they're a little bit emotionally protective. So that could be why they're, they're in their head thinking about things. Um, they could have just walked away from a different connection, too, or you could have. So there could be something like that going on. Um, but let's see what's blocking this connection. What are the blockages? The chariot, Cancerian energy. Do you guys live at a distance? Um, is there like a lack of means of transportation? Something like that. The lovers, Gemini energy, Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag in reverse for blockages. Somebody was is leaving something behind, and I feel like they're in the middle of tying up the ending of that, and this person is moving towards you. So I do feel like it's them. I'm just going to keep it that way, but again, remember, it can be flip-flopped and reversed. I feel like your person is leaving another situation behind, and they are really trying to come in your direction. I don't think they're being sneaky about anything, though. Like, they could be just in a separation, going through a divorce that kind of a thing. I don't feel like they hid anything from you. I feel like they're choosing you. They want to be with you, but I feel like they can't, 
And that's why they're emotionally blocked off. They can't offer you the full emotions and full stability here until they finally move on, like, for good, for good, from whatever situation that is. Could be with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, that they're moving away from. Now let's see, what else blockages? Three of Pentacles. Are you feeling, are you feeling a little bit rejected, ignored, or bored waiting for this person, Virgo? It's like you want to build, you want to get the ball rolling here, be on the same page, be a team, work together, but you feel like you're kind of getting a little bit, not yet, not yet, you know, wait a little longer, I'm, I'm working on this, like you're feeling a little bit bored rejected from building with this person let's see what are their intentions towards virgo what is this person's intentions to heal see they're not sneaky there's no lying cheating sneaking stealing going on it came out twice in reverse what is this person's intentions for some of you, this person could be coming back towards you after a breakup and they want to rebuild. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They want to either rebuild or build. Yeah. They don't want to be wishy-washy. Gemini energy. I have Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. That could be you. I feel like they want to take a leap of faith, but they don't want to be stuck. Because they do want to build with you, divine timing. Yeah, being patient. Please be patient with me. Please be patient with me. This person is trying to do um, the best interest for all. I know patience might run thin or you might question it or feel left out, ignored or bored. But I feel like this person is trying to be methodical and they don't want to put you in the middle of maybe what could be a messy situation or a divorce situation or separation or something. So they're trying to protect the connection between the two of you while they're going through whatever it is they're going through. And they don't want you to be in the middle of it. So they're trying to not get you stuck in that. They don't want to create a tower between the two of you. They don't want to lose you. What else are their intentions with Virgo? What else are their intentions with Virgo? All right. Putting in work and effort, getting clarity, Ace of Cups. They have emotions for you. They have overflowing of emotions for you. And I feel like they want this new beginning in love with you. They want to put in the work and effort, but they got to clear up whatever that is because they don't want to hurt you. They have long-term commit commitment goals with you. They see you as a soulmate. An equal exchange of love. How do they truly feel about Virgo? How do they truly feel about Virgo or their emotions towards Virgo? Queen of Pentacles. So male or female, doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot. But they see you as this Queen of Pentacles. They see you very grounded, balanced, fair, understanding, compassionate, nurturing, caretaking, Twin flame, 11-11, make a wish, four of wands. Twin flame, soulmate, wishes coming true, house, home, commitment, a reason to celebrate. They want to level this up with you, Virgo. Death, rebirth, scorpionic energy. They want some kind of a transformation here to level this up. They could see that that's what you want, too. Mm, you're stressing, though. They know you're stressing. Or they're stressing that you are going to walk away from this. 
I think they, they're stressing that you're going to walk away from this and just be single and like not manifest it anymore, not want it to come true. I think they're fearing that. No, there's passion, attraction, desire, following intuition. Flame has been ignited here. Ten of Pentacles. They want that long term. They don't want to confuse you, though. That's why they're, they're just, they're guarded right now because of that. So if you're, like, feeling left out or feeling confused, if you're feeling like this... <laughs> Look, you, you are their wish fulfillment. You are their soulmate. They do choose you. They're just being protective of this right now because they don't want to cause confusion and they don't want to stress you out and they don't want you to walk away. Wow. So they are, they're genuine. They're a genuine person, all in all. I'm not seeing lies, cheating, secrets. I'm not seeing any of that at all. I feel like this person has been honest with you. It's taking longer or it's not exactly how you wanted it to happen. And that's the frustrating part. And that's also the fear that they have. That you're going to walk away from it because they can't provide you with what, what you want. You want to level up. You want balance. All right, let's see. Potential outcome. What are you going to do? There you are, Virgo. What's going to happen? Keep in mind, you have free will. So do they. So the outcome can change, and I'm not here to tell you what to do. I feel like um, a plan is going to be put into place. Um, actions are going to be, action steps are going to gonna be taken, putting in work and effort. Ace of Cups, again, the chariot, forward movement. is coming in there could be an age difference between the two of you it doesn't have to be wow. you guys i have cups 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 the empress king of pentacles seven of pentacles judgment scorpionic energy knight of cups pisces energy look Male, female, doesn't matter, whatever. This person wants to take care of you. They want to treat you like this empress or emperor or king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, empress, whatever. It's very grounded, I feel like. This connection would be very, very grounded, stable. There's emotions being offered here in both directions, So where is this going to lead to? Where is this going to lead to for Virgo? I don't know why your cards are falling stupid like this. It's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. There's going to be strength and courage here. It's going to lead to long-term commitment. I don't know if marriage is on the table, off the table. Some people may want it, some may not. But I'm seeing long-term commitment, house, home, family. And I feel like there is strength in it and confidence in this connection. It's very pentacle-oriented, which, I mean, you are an earth sign. But I feel like there there's definitely emotions, too. A lot. There's a lot of hope and faith on like this new beginning in love that it's just going to be reciprocated. This person, I feel like Virgo, might have like a very strong romantic side to them. I give up on shuffling today. It's like... <laughs> Whatever it is, it's going to make you really happy. And I feel like it's a whole new life. But what are the obstacles Virgo's going to have to overcome? Moment to moment. Living moment to moment. Not trying to rush, push, force. 
Um, are you clinging to the past or do you feel like this is a, a repeat of a cycle and it's scaring you? Um, that could be something that's an obstacle here. Or this person really needs to just let go of that past situation. Um, going on adventures, being open with each other, having that fun, spontaneous, adventurous uh, energy together. Because I feel like some things are restricted between the two of you. All right, let's see. Advice for Virgo. Fall, changes in the air, balance, yin yang, darkness, light, stay centered in your higher self, fertility, fresh ideas, manifest growth, plant your seeds. You are manifesting big time. You, you're, you did all the work. You, you're doing the work. Fresh start, new opportunity, release the past. This is your second chance. You could have been coming out of something too, an end of a cycle or a relationship, Virgo, you know. All right, let's see. What would this person want to say to you? You speak to me through music. I feel you even though we are apart. Just being near you is intoxicating. This person, whoa, they're all about you. So even when you're not together, this person, it's like they feel you being together. Listening to songs that remind you, that remind them of you, all of that, wow. All right, I'm going to get some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initial. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. I see uh, B-E-M-R-L. I know it's going to be a lot, you guys. Uh, D-T-G-C-Z-A-W-N-O-J-K. I didn't mean to pull that many, but they all fill out. So, all right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, age, number of days, weeks, months, years, angel numbers, place it where you see fit. All right, we have three, eight, six, and ten. So, three, six, eight, and ten could be the third, sixth, eighth, tenth of any month, could be 36, 38. 63, 83, whatever. Play around with the numbers. Uh, we have March. June, August, and October. Zodiac signs could be their uh, sun sign, strong placements in their charts, or something could happen during that season, like Virgo season, for instance. All right, we have Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Cancer. Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Cancer. Could be any sign. I have um, pretty strong Scorpionic, Pisces, um, Virgo, you guys came out, Cancer, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a lot of Earth and Water came out. Uh, it could be anybody, though, you guys, all right? Place it where you see fit. Um, Virgo, that is what I have for you. Uh, until next time, love and light. Take care.